Hola alumnos, ¿cómo están? Espero que bien. Um, hoy vamos a aprender los, la conjugación del verbo ser, ¿sí? The verb to be. In Spanish, the verb to be can be ser or and estar. There are two different verbs that are different and they're used in different occasions. So what we're going to do today is, what we're gonna, going to do is learn how to conjugate only the verb ser, okay? Not estar today, only ser. We're going to learn a conjugation and we're going to learn some basic usage uh, when you are supposed to use those. Okay, ready? If you don't have your notes right now, I will encourage you to get your notebook and take notes. Okay? So let's start. If you have this booklet that you receive at school, um, it should be on your page two, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, page two. <clears throat> and you are welcome to follow me along and write on your booklets. Ready? As we saw this week, in the beginning of the week, we saw that there are pronouns, see? Yo, which means I, remember? Tú, which means you. Usted, él y ella. Usted means you formally. Él, uh, él means he, ella, she. See, and the, in, how would you conjugate this verb ser, which means to be? How would you conjugate it when you say yo? So let's see. Yo soy. Yo soy. I am. Tú eres. Tú eres. You are. Usted, él o ella es. Usted es. Él es. Ella es. He, she. Or you formally is. He is, she is, you are. In the formal way. All right, so let's see the pronouns, which are the plural ones. Nosotros, vosotros, y ellos. Let's see how would you, would, how would you conjugate this verb, sir? Uh, nosotros somos. Nosotros somos. Nosotros somos. We are. We are. Nosotros somos. Vosotros sois. Vosotros sois. Vosotros sois. You all are. And then we have the last one. Ustedes son. Ellos son. O ellas son. You all are. They are. Masculine. They are. Feminine. Something interesting here to know is like, if you do have a mix of people that are female and male at the same time and you are addressing them, you have to uh, gen you have to put it as a masculine, okay? Even if that means that there are like 10 girls and one guy, you have to make it masculine, okay? Now, if you have 10 girls and just girls, then you'll be alias. Now, if you have um, 10 guys and one girl, it will be uh, masculine as well, alias. All right, that's just uh, something to kind of know how to address them. Um, now, let's see this activity. And uh, let's do any, uh, all of these blanks one by one. And what we're going to do here is uh, learn. Uh, if you look here on the left side in this, this um, um, there is an acronymus uh, here that uh, you have the letter D O C T O R P T, Doctor P T. <laughs> so that was good. that can help you remember when you're supposed to use the verb ser. So D for description. Description when you're using adjectives, okay? So in this case, we have the pronoun tú, so we need to use eres. Tú eres bonita. Yo, yo, what comes for yo? Yo soy, yo soy baja. You are pretty, I am short. Okay, descriptions, adjectives. O for origin. Where are you from? Okay. Uh, so 
if you if these are usually the verb set is used for things that never change and this is a good example of it because you don't change your where you're from uh, normally right so I am how would you say soy de uh, Georgia so you say well why don't we have the yo before the soy you can use it with the pronoun or without the pronoun. Both are correct. Sounds good. Mario, how would you say for Mario? Which one of these pronouns should be Mario? This one, okay? Third person, Mario. When you have a name, it's always a third person. Mario is the Colombia. All right, for description and orange. Let's see the next one. O for, oh, sorry, C for characteristics. Again, more adjectives, okay? In this case, it's not physical adjectives like in the first one in description, but it's more characteristics of personality, see? For example, soy simpatica. I am sympathetic, okay? I am a nice person. He, this one, él, él es inteligente. He is intelligent. All right, so for, for personalities or characteristics of personality. T for time. Es la una. We use the verb es uh, the, to, be, uh, to be said. Uh, singular, it, it is one. Now, when we say more than one, we have to use son. Because that would be plural, more than one. So, son las dos y media. Any time that is more than one, it's going to be son. Okay? So, for time, you use the verb to be. Occupation. Okay? Professions. Occupation. I am a teacher. In this case, I am male. So, I would say, soy maestro. Soy profesor. See? If you're a girl, you would say, soy maestra. Soy maestra. She, ella, es médica. Okay. So for occupation, you also use it. Are for relationship. You can use the verb to be, said for relationship. Ella, she, es mi mamá. Él, es mi, tí, mi primo. She is my mother, and he is my cousin for relationships, okay? Next one, we're going to use for possession. It is my notebook. Es mi cuaderno. It is my notebook. El carro, the car, is the Anna, belongs to Anna, okay? Possession is the Anna. It's Anna's car. The car is Anna's car. Where things take, take place, okay? Where are things going on? Okay, for example, la fiesta, the party, Es en mi casa. Okay. So I hope that gives you a general idea of when to use it. Again, let's review. Description for adjectives. Origin. Origin. Where are you from? Characteristics. Uh, that will be related to personality. Time. Uh, remember that it is uh, singular and plural. Okay. Singular and plural. Then we have occupation. Uh, any profession relationship because they're always the same your cousin will be your cousin tomorrow too <laughs> and then we have the possession something that it belongs to you or to somebody else and uh, where things are or take place so let's see here uh questions uh let's see these activities and see if we can con uh, conjugate it correctly let me put my picture right here now and let's see here uh they don't let uh, which one would you put for tú? What would be the conjugation for tú? Eres. ¿De dónde eres tú? Julia. 
professora, teacher. So that will be what? Profession, right? Uh, profession. Es profesora. The first one is uh, or origin, right? De donde eres tu? Where are you from? I am from. Yo soy de Brasil, for example. Um, yo soy de Estados Unidos. Soy estadounidense. Um, let's see the third one. Eva y Luna. Ooh, two different names. So that would be they. They should be here. Ellos o ellas. Eva y Luna are two female names. So that would be ellas, right? Ellas son. Son mis primas. Ellas son mis primas. And that would be a relationship, right? Los muchachos, los muchachos, they, the, the guys, ellos, son inteligentes. Oh, they're intelligent. It's the same in this one, characteristics. See? Then we have uh, the time here, las diez y media. See? Should we say es or son? Son, right? Because it's more than one. Son las diez y media. Los zapatos. Los zapatos. Belonging, possession, right? That would be here. Okay. Here you're using singular, but zapatos is plural, so it should be es or son. It should be son, right? Son de Lucas. Let's see the last one. Mi hermano, muy alto. Relationship. Uh, but at the same time, he's actually, actually describing here. The description, right? The physical description. He is very tall. Very tall. Mi hermano es muy alto. All right. So that's a quick intro to the verb ser. I hope you enjoyed it and kind of made sense. Um, as we do more practice of this conjugation, I hope it, it rings more bells and that you have this aha moment. But that's how you conjugate. You have the pronouns. You have the different conjugations for each one of the pronouns. The verb to be is used in all of these different ways uh, for description, origin, characteristics, time, occupation, relationship, possession, and where things take place. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I will see you later in class. Adios.